Hi, in this video we're going to talk about the Click and Clean extension for Google Chrome and also for uh, Microsoft Edge since you can install uh, Chrome extensions in Edge. works the same way. So this is a pretty cool little extension here. It does a lot of stuff to kind of help clean your computer and protect your privacy. And I like how it has a five-star rating and a bunch of uh, reviews. So it's, you, know, you can tell it's a pretty good app there. So once you go to the page, so I'll put a link in the description by the way, and then you just click on Add to Chrome like any other extension. And just kind of takes you to their page. And it'll open up this blank page here. And then you can just kind of close it. Let me close this one too. And then you go to your extensions and you'll have this guy here. And if you want to pin it, then you can just click that. And now you'll notice here, visited pages and so on. It'll kind of change as you go along. So there's two main, well, three sections. One's donate, but two main sections here. Your main, so you can securely close your browser. And if you want to go to the settings here, to tell you what it's going to do. So clear your cache, empty your history, and that kind of thing when you close the browser. And you could just pick all these actions that it'll take when you click that button. Then you have the clear private data. You have settings for that too, which will take you back to the same place. Then you could clear the cache. And you just click on the trash can. Same for this thing here. Just that'll click on the button. It'll do the whole thing. Click on this give you some tips and that'll close all the tabs and this will take you to the settings or you can just clear all the data from there. Clear your history. So if you do scan for malware, it'll, it'll take you to this page here and then I want you to do a quick scan using the uh, Windows uh, Security Center here. You click on that. And it'll just take you to where you can do a scan there. Privacy test, I'll just kind of check your IP and see if you have, if you're logging into Facebook and Google. Uh, clear out your cookies. So you can kind of, you know, if you don't, if you want to clear everything, you could do, you know, all this stuff. But if you want to just kind of do cache, history, cookies separately, you could do that. Uh, memory, this is not too helpful unless you know what you're looking at here. Just kind of show you the uh, system memory being used here. Downloads, it'll show you your downloads, take your downloads page, and then you can manage them from there. Or you could have it uh, delete your download history. And this options will take you back to the main options here. Check for updates, this will just launch an incognito mode window. And then if you go to the Chrome section here, you can look at your plugins and their status. You can see what extensions you have installed. So there's the new one we just did there. If you want to open the experiments page where you can search for you know experimental features, that'll take you right there. So that's pretty much like going to the Chrome's flags uh, address there. Network stack, we're not going to read DNS settings. If you want to clear your resolver cache. You want to view your history. You got your cache here too. Your password generator. If you just want to generate a random password, just if you need something like that. Uh, conflicts. You know, some of the stuff, you know, handy. Some of it's not so much, or it might be to you. Check for bugs. So kind of open up the Chromium bug page where you can kind of see any kind of bugs in Chrome. So, you know, it's a pretty useful thing there, especially if you want to just do this. This one here is pretty useful. Securely close your browser. So if you want to do that every time you close it or when you're done to just kind of wipe everything out and clear it all out. And then just a quick way to clear out the individual settings, you know, history and cache and cookies, you know, rather than having to go to the Chrome settings and do that all, you know, from there. And like I said, the Chrome buttons here. You can look at your plugins and extensions and history and so on. So, once again, I'll put a link in the description. Just download it. And if you like it, good. And if you don't like it, all you got to do is go to your extensions uh, little icon here. Click on Remove from Chrome, and then it'll be gone. All right. Thanks for watching, and be sure to subscribe.